The 10 days between Ascension and Pentecost were really significant for those early disciples. Of course, they'd been excited to see Jesus raised from the dead, but he'd spoken so clearly to them to wait until they were empowered with the Spirit of God from on high. And so they were in that upper room, searching the scriptures, calling out to God in prayer, with a great spirit of expectation in their hearts. And I think in the 10 days that we have leading up to Pentecost this year, with the Thy Kingdom Come initiative, we've got an opportunity as the church to again discover something of that excitement and that determination and that spirit of preparation that they saw right there in the beginning. Now, of course, the day of Pentecost, when it came, was so transformative. They knew the power of God upon their lives, but it wasn't just the inward transformation that was important. It was the outward impact. And it's as we seek God through thy kingdom come that we're really believing for the impact of the church's mission out into society. We want to see the nations reached just as they were on that Pentecost Sunday all of those years ago after the cross and resurrection. We want to see people hearing God in their own language, right down to whatever that language means in terms of different expressions and really localize the gospel into people's hearts and lives. So I believe that this is a great time and I'm so grateful to Archbishop Justin for having come up with this Thy Kingdom Come initiative. It's a way that we as the church can really prepare and equip so that when we pray and trust God to, to move us forward with this mission expectancy in our hearts that we're really going to see great things happen. When the initiative began, the presidents of Churches Together in England, of whom I'm one, really got behind the initiative. But this year it's a real privilege for me just to, as an individual to speak out and say, I really do believe in this initiative and I do want to see the church make an impact as a result of thy kingdom come. We need to see the gospel impacting people's lives. And I want to encourage you to be part of Thy Kingdom Come too, to be praying with this sense of purpose and expectation so that we can see the mission of the church reach a new level. May God bless you as you join in Thy Kingdom Come this year.